What is up everyone, Nick Trust Gaming here. It has been a minute since I've made a video and I guess I got a little bit burnt out. So I know I'm a little bit late and I'm going to be making this video on Horizon, but I also wanted to make this video on the Faded Injector. Like every other video, the links will be in the description below. This is going to be a short update video. Please do remember if you are using the Minecraft clients, you might need to install Visual Studios, C++, Desktop Development. If you don't know how to do that, that, there will be an annotation in the top right a little video on showing you how to do that and if you have never used Horizon before or any minecraft client before then i recommend that you please stay tuned as i go over how to actually download it if you have used Horizon before but you have never used the faded injector i'll also be showing you how to download that there are many cool things that you could do with the faded injector so if you are interested then please stay tuned Now, even though we're going to be using the faded injector, you still want to turn off your real-time protection. Next, you can find the download in the description below. You want to click on NG and all. Once you press the download button, you can press Ctrl J or you could go to show all. Even though it says it's a dangerous file, it is not. It is false positive. If you don't have WinWire, you are going to need WinWire or something to unpack the zip file. Now you can run the Faded Injector as administrator. The Faded Injector comes with many options such as spoof and you can inject other clients. You can change the darkness, freeze the GIF, Discord RPC, auto inject, and you can also change the GIF in the center. So using this injector, we are going to inject Orion, but we're not going to do that just yet. First, we're going to go ahead and load up Minecraft just to be safe. And the reason why I say that is because sometimes if you inject the client before actually starting Minecraft, it could crash. Now on the main screen, you want to make sure you're on the right update of Minecraft, this being Minecraft Bedrock Edition 1.19.0. Also, it's a lot easier if you put your game into windowed by pressing F11 or you can go into your settings, your video settings, and you can disable the full screen. And once you want to inject Orion using the faded injector, you just want to make sure it's selected here. And then you want to just press inject client. And so it is as easy as that. I've already went over Orion a bunch of times with the pressing the insert key and using the arrow keys to navigate. So in this video, I'm just going to show you this new command that is super cool. So you want to go ahead and just get yourself anything that you want to enchant. Then type in the command dot enchant add all. Then you'll get all the enchantments on the item that you went to enchant. Using the diamond sword, you can even one tap the warden. And that is all I have for this video. I believe I'm still a bit burnt out, so I'm not sure if I'll be uploading as much. I want to start making some different types of content. I'm not sure what I really want to do. Um, I still want to make cheat videos and you know stuff like that because I find it very interesting but I kind of want to expand onto some different things and so that's why I've been streaming on Twitch if you want to see me live um, I've been just playing a bunch of COD zombies and doing the easter eggs if you have any suggestions on what you want to see on this channel then please let me know special thanks to Trust Music for making me this background music thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one